On today's video, we are going to talk about some things that are cultural shocking for most people that visit the country. But for us, it's something normal. As a matter of fact, when someone that is just visiting the country mentions or says something about it, we just smile because it is natural for us. And the first one is motorcycles. And it's from the amount of motorcycles that are here in the in the island, not just in the city, just anywhere in the campus or anywhere you can find motorcycles. The amount of motorcycles that we have, the way that they drive, like maneuvering through the city, and the amount of people that ride on the motorcycle from time. That is it's shocking for most people. And I just want to ask James to see what he thinks because I already know. About the motorcycle? About the motorcycle, the amount of yeah. people that top that is more. Well, of course, when I first came, it was a culture shock. And what it what it looked like to me when I first got here, you guys ever, when you was kids, you know, like the ant beds they had. And then as a kid, you were just being, you know, devious and you just kick over the ant bed and then all the little ants just start be running around like that. That's what the motorcycles looked like to me when I first got here. They're just like little ants just going in and out of swerving in and out of traffic and that's what it looked like for me um in terms of um the amount of them that was a culture shot to see that many <clears throat> to see that many motorcycles on the road and like when you're at the light it's like they all come to the front of the light and they're all just sitting there in front of you like they're like a motorcycle game and then <laughs> when the soon the light turns green they all, nin, 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 you know, they speed out. So, yeah, that was a culture shock. Well, for me, uh, it's not too much like the amount of people they, they, they ride on the motorcycle. Sometimes you see five people, like three children and two adults on the motorcycle, the driver and the mom or somebody else on the back and three kids on top of it. Because I have seen it, I mean, forever pretty much. I mean, that seems something normal here. But the thing that it, to me it will be more shocking is... Uh, how you say the discontrol of the motorcycle, how they drive, that is the thing that get me a little annoying. Like they don't, they can wait on the light to turn red. They come from everywhere. They just want to go. It doesn't matter. If they see just a little, little tiny space, they just want to go. They just want to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the amount, the amount of people on a motorcycle, man, that was, that was crazy. The first, I remember the first time I seen, I took a picture of it. I was like, man, y'all got to see this. I, I think I posted it on my Facebook page or I sent it to my mom or my sisters, something like that. I like, cause I think the first one I seen was like a mom and two kids. And then the mom was holding an arm baby. So it was like five of them include the driver. And this was like, man, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is wild. <laughs> And um, and a lot of people when they come over here and they see that they like oh that's that's dangerous blah 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 reckless. and I tell them and reckless mm -hmm. but man I tell them man if if it was a problem where the kids were being you know killed or harmed trust me they wouldn't be doing it over here these people got this thing under control how they do it. they be holding the baby they holding their groceries on the other hand two people on there it's wild and another thing you see not even just the passengers I seen a guy the other day he was trying to um, he was trying to hold on to hold a washing machine as he That's what I mean. gas tank a gas and all tanks that. and you know riding on man is crazy. I'm telling you, that's a culture shock. That was that was crazy to me. And now it's just so normal, man. It's, I mean, every time, every now and then, I see it, I laugh, but it's not like you know, like, like wow. Mm -hmm. And now that you mentioned that part mm -hmm. where you say if it would be dangerous, they would have pushed stop or they would do something about it. Now that you think about it, yes, it is a lot of like accident here, like car accidents, things like that. But if you notice now that you mentioned when you see like 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 accident, you don't see many say like it was a motorcycle with a with kids and a family going on together because most people when they have all that, they go in like they go in their space and trying to do all that. Most of the time when you see the, the motorcycle, they, buy, they go by themselves right. or they go with somebody else because they go in doing things of things that they shouldn't right. be doing or they go in in a very fast way. Right. Mm -hmm. and, 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 not, and that's not to say that there's never been an accident with, you know, mm -hmm. kids on a motorcycle because there has. What we're saying is that it's not an epidemic to a point where they the minute, yeah, yeah, they say, hey, you can't do that anymore. So, um, yeah, we may think it's reckless and it may be, but... But it, it works. It, <laughs> it works for us. It works, yeah. <laughs> so the next one is, which can be in conjunction to the motorcycles, is driving in general. Meaning when people come over here and they see how people drive here, 
it's 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 crazy. You know, when my mom comes here, she's been here maybe like three times now, and she still can't believe the way they drive. And everybody we meet, they say they can't drive here, or they ask me, "How you driving, man? You don't, you know, you're not. It don't make you crazy." And I've gotten used to it. It doesn't make me crazy. So driving here can be a culture shock to people who are used to what following the rules. <laughs> oh yeah, they, uh, yeah. People they follow the rules. They want to go in a certain speed. People they go, yeah, basically go mm. by the rules. Right. Yeah. And well, when I say rules, because Dominican got their own rules. Oh yeah. The problem is that you don't know the rules. Right. <laughs> as soon as you learn the rules, you are on it too. Right. So we, I've learned the rules. You learned the rules, and. I would say this, somebody, well, I'll tell you what, somebody left a comment, I don't know if it was on my channel, but they left a comment and said that their, um, their husband was like, they like the, the way people drive in here in Dominican Republic because people in America, they drive like robots because they're sitting there, just standing there, you know, looking like this, but in, in Dominican Republic, you gotta be using all five or six of your senses, how many senses we got, I can't remember. You gotta be looking over your shoulder, you gotta be looking around. I say that's a good way to explain it. I mean, that's a good way to see it, but I don't think that's, <laughs> that's I don't wanna see it that way. Because mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't wanna be having all my senses all on because I'm driving. It is it is a stressful sometimes. So I don't know if that is a good way to see. I see what, I see what they say because you have to be on alert, but at the same time, I mean, yeah, you can't drive like a robot. You can't drive like a robot. You're just not gonna be looking to the not looking to the side, looking ahead. You have to really drive defensively, uh, not offensively, and you have to pay attention at all times. Yeah, when you're driving over here, you know that you have to be on your. I mean, you need to be on your on your drive. Right. Mm -hmm. You, you, you got to be focused because you could um, you can hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or be hurt. Or be hurt. Yep. Because sometimes you just. Mm -hmm. Doing what you have to do, I don't be how you say when you have to be paying attention to what other people mm -hmm. do. Uh, and if you know in the defensive, mm -hmm. defensive mode, then sometimes people can hit you. Yeah. And the next one is drinking throughout the day. That is something that is culture shocking, but also to some people, yes. So some people it's enjoyable. <laughs> enjoyable the sense that sometimes people over here, depending on, well, not depending because that's all the time. Like any time of the day, they can be drinking in this morning, especially on weekends, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like this, it's something that you're waiting for, they're drinking. And sometimes you can see people like through the lunch, like even if they working, if they gonna have lunch, they can ask for a beer, have a president with their lunch. It seems to be something just normal. Just have a beer where uh, your lunch is something normal over here. Right in the States, you start drinking before five o'clock and people are like, man, what are you doing? You know, why are you, you, why are you drinking? Then they make this, this, this saying that we all say, well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Listen, nobody says that here. When somebody's, you know, they're up in the morning, I've seen, like I said, I went to the barbershop, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, people are popping president days like it's nothing. Nobody says anything. They don't say, hey man, it's five o'clock somewhere. It's too early. And it's too, never. Mm -hmm. When you get up, if that's what you feel like doing, they do it. Sometimes we do it like if we will have a bad day, we just drink a presidente just because, oh my God, it's going to be better later. If it will have a good day, even better. We have a reason to drink. So for any reason, if it's good, bad, or any reason, we make it a reason for it. Right. You know, I'd be sitting, I'm not, I may be sitting at my desk and doing some work and I, like I said, I typically don't drink when I work, but if I feel like I want to have a drink, then I, you know, it'd be 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I can just fix one drink because I can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it's something that some people, not everybody, but that is how some people take the stress off sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you can, you'll see people throughout the day, like say on their lunch break, drinking on their lunch break, and the boss and, and your company, they don't say anything about it. I'm assuming they don't. I don't know personally. But. No, they, I would say no, they don't say anything. And it's not like drinking. The only thing that we say that is people going to sit down and drink and drink right. and drink and drink because you don't have the time anyway. It's just like, okay, have lunch. Let me get a pequeña or a mediana. Everybody just with a the meal. And then we just, with the meal, it's something right. very simple. It's just to go back to work. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I don't think they're drinking like hard liquor or nothing like that. They mostly no, drink no, president. Pre most right. of the time it's president of beer. Mm -hmm. Right. A beer. So, yeah. And the next one that's a culture shock to a lot of you pet lovers is you see a lot of stray uh, animals, dogs and cats mm -hmm. here in Dominican Republic, especially here in the um, Santo Domingo, 
Um, I'm sure you could probably say in the Campos too, but in here in Santo Domingo, especially in the barrios, in this area, I don't see a lot of them because, you know, I see people walking their dog, dogs over here. Yeah, those dogs, do they have us a pet? Right, the I mean, pets. Straight dogs, I don't think they pets. They're <laughs> right. just and living. They, they don't, it don't bother me as much, but one thing I don't like about it is, is when I'm at like a restaurant, and they got a stray cat walking around. It, it drives me crazy. I went to this barbecue place and I was trying to support this person because they were from Memphis. And <clears throat> I was over there and they, they had this cat there. I'm trying to eat my, my ribs and things like, my, you know, eat my food, my ribs, and the cat just sitting beside me. You know what they do and they just look up at you. And it's like. Oh, passing through your legs I'm passing sometimes. through your legs, mm -hmm. it's like. I'm gonna eat my food when you looking at me. <laughs> you know, it, I, no. And 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 for Domin some of the these restaurant owners, it's normal for them. I'm not gonna say for Dominicans because you know I went to restaurants where they don't allow that. You know what I'm saying? They they don't have straight cash. But when you see them at those restaurants, it's almost like, all right, it's just a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like the straight dogs, there's many of them over here. And then the thing is that when you sometimes, when you're driving or when you backing up on the street, you see they lay down, right? Sometimes they lay down ah, under your car or in front of your car. And you start driving, and they don't even move. They just like so lazy. I don't know if they hide or if they just, in their move, they just want to be quiet, tranquilo. Don't bother me, I won't bother you. If they just don't even move. You have to blow your heart or you try to shush them out for yeah. them to move. They, because they stay there. They in a Dominican struggle like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> they just stay and say, I'm good over here. I don't know about you, but I'm good. <laughs> man, I see some of them dogs, man, be like, man, it's hot out here. They be looking like they tired, bro. <laughs> The next one is male, and it's the way it is very interesting how people here, I mean, have to get used to like not receiving meals at home. That you have to have a career, a career, uh, sign up with a career when you want to receive mail, and also that you don't receive uh, junk mail, junk mail in you in your house because you don't receive mail. Right. Right. And that is something that is uh, sometimes I remember when we was living over there all the time taking the mail out all these. Junk magazines, stuff like that, that you have brochure that you have to throw it out. Right. Here, you don't have to worry about receiving random mail yeah. or nothing like that. And, and you know, it's funny you said that because you know I hadn't even thought about it. we hadn't received a whole bunch of junk mail. We we left that our job up to my mom. I know she's watching this. <laughs> her job is to check our junk mail. <laughs> and then go through it and throw it in the garbage yeah. can. But yeah, you don't you don't receive mail. That's a culture shock to a lot to a lot of people. They like you know. So how you get your mail? You know, I need to get somebody to send me something. What I gotta do? Well, you gotta first do this. You gotta go create an account. You gotta go do this, and it's like. And every time you receive a package, right. you, you receive an email, you have to go over there, drive all the way over there, and then pay for it because they buy what they wait. Right, and, and, and another thing that's culture shock that's kind of similar to that is that the addresses, the way the addresses are, you know, for me, the addresses in America are just so simple. It's name, street number, street name, city, state, zip code. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's that simple. And when I, and it's, that's not Dominican Republic. If I send, I can send stuff to Australia and the UK and it's like all these, these numbers and these digits and these other, these provinces, the state, the town and all this, like, what, what is this confusion? It's not as organized as the United States. And then you have the thing, the people over there, when you build a house, or an apartment building, you know everything is structured. You have rules. You have to, you have to request permission. You have to do all that. They give you. I don't know if they give you a name or something. But here, remember, everybody do their own construction. If you have a house, they want to build on top of it. Then I'm gonna put this is such and such A, B, and C, and this is the number. E. Everybody put in their own number. Is there a space in the middle of the two houses? They're gonna build something right there. They're gonna. <laughs> or say assign their own numbers. No, I don't know, but here if you have your house that you build. That's crazy, man. I mean, remember people here, a lot of people that build those little houses that they just pay somebody to put some bricks. They don't they don't get permission like to build houses and nothing like that. So if you don't get permission, I don't know who assigned big numbers. Right. I, my guess is in the United States, every, everything is, 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 is obviously, is uh, regulated. 
mm. where when you have the permit to build over there, you know that you will have a number and things like that. That is it, 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 easy to find addresses, but here it can be very difficult because you know how people build over here. You go, you construction, you just hire somebody, things like that. It, it's, it's not as easy as right. it's over there. Yeah, that, that's true. So yeah, getting mail here is difficult and it's just easier to, um, especially U.S. postal mail. Now, if you wanna you know, do UPS and things like that, that's much easier. They'll deliver right to your, spot, your place, they come right to your door, but just like regular postal mail, man. It's impossible almost, and it takes forever. Mm -hmm. And the next one is was one of the things that a, was a, co a big culture shock to me when I first got here, and it still is to a certain extent, because sometimes I have to do it, it's those cold showers. Mm -hmm. It's something that I just cannot get used to with these cold showers. Now, now we do have a uh, water heater in our apartment where you know the water heats up, but sometimes we got to get a new one now because if the battery, like the, if the battery go off, yeah, yeah. you have to change it. Like if you don't have it until you get the new battery, you guess you have to do what you have to do. Right. So if the battery, because it is operated by a battery. So if that battery dies, then what do you do? You know, you, you still got to take a shower. Or do what you have to do at right. the moment. Yeah. And you, you're not going to say, oh man, I'm going to run and get a battery so I can take a, a hot shower. Now, well, some people may do that, but you don't really know until you <laughs> took everything off. <laughs> you oh, you, oh my God, the water is not getting hot. But for me, for me, it's not anymore. I have to say, well, I wasn't used because I was born with my cold shower. I was okay until I got I got, I got to the United States that I got spoiled with the hot water. And then when I bought, I was, I was even to the point that when I was coming on vacation with Leia, they were, she was uh, younger, I was heating the water in the stove for us to take a shower. That's how it's full I was. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that I'm back living over here because I love my cold shower. Like when I'm in my mom's house, ooh, ooh, and then it's so hot over there. Those cold showers feel very good. And Leah like them too. Mm -hmm. yeah. She take it. You she take cold showers on Leah. Mm -hmm. All your showers. Leah, Leah take cold showers. I can't do it, man. Mm -hmm. I've gotten used to it. Now. I used to when I when I put the cold water, you know, I'd be like doing like this. But now it's just more like a deep breath while I'm doing it, but yeah, I, I can't get used to the cold showers I need. But I think cold, 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 show, cold, cold water is good for you, for your blood, it makes you that's blood, true. and then that, that is good for you. Right, that's true. And the next one is flushing the toilet. I know that oh. is very choking for a lot of people because here it's still, well, it was like all the bathrooms, you cannot flush it. People here you used to flush no toilet paper in the toilet. We just put it in a garbage can that you threw out during the day and a lot of things have changed because people started building the new construction and stuff you are able to do that but it's still a lot of places and old construction mm -hmm. that is still you can flush no toilet paper because it is uh how you say start yeah mm -hmm. and for people who don't understand why is because <clears throat> back in the day when they was building the plumbing they was building these small pipes yeah, so small. it wasn't they wasn't wide enough for you to put tissue in it, or it, you know, it, you can put tissue in it, but it's easy, easy to for it to get stuck. So, mm -hmm. I remember when I used to first come over here, man, and we were I was staying at your mom's house. Um, I just thought that was weird, man. But yeah. I ain't gonna get too graphic about it. But to you know, do your number two, and then you have to wrap it up in some more. First, you gotta grab it, and you gotta look at it. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you got, you you got to wrap it up in some old toilet paper, and then you put it in there. You just don't wipe and then no look. You know, you don't wipe and then do a no look pass. <laughs> you do a wipe, and you look, and you wrap it up. And man, I tell you, that was... That's tough, man. That's and then he tough. said that he was not gonna get too graphic. I don't know if he wanna be more graphic than <laughs> I mean graphic being having having something to show. <laughs> you are being graphic. Yeah, that's that that was wild. So that right there was pretty much a lot of the culture shocks that we that came to our mind when we were sitting up here thinking. But I wanna add, we got two bonus ones that to me it wasn't a culture it's almost like a culture shock, but it's also mo also like you know, why do they do this? And it's, when you're driving, Dominicans will walk in the middle of the street without looking. It drives me crazy. They say don't generalize, but I'm telling you, I've seen it. I've seen it with young people. I've seen it with middle-aged people. I've seen it with old people. 
they will just step out in the middle of the street. And when they step out in the middle of the street, then they look both ways. Where when we were taught, you look both ways before you step out in the middle of the street. Them, they don't do that. You got to be careful. It's a lot of times I almost hit somebody because they're just walking in the middle of the street. And then when you hit them on, they're like, oh, like, you know, this is a street. Cars are coming. You need to look, you know. Yeah, most of the time, yeah, they react when they jump and then they see the reflect of the vehicle coming. Then they react and then they add. But and most of the time, yeah, I've seen it too, especially when he's driving that yeah they, a lot of people don't pay attention when they're going about to cross the street they just jump into it mm -hmm. and then they react and they just it's, it man. surprised me they're doing it that way and the way the people drive over here it haven't made more people being um how you say run over yeah hit yeah hit right. or just stepping over on the street like that and another bonus that we have is the season and how the weather changed with the season that is not something that you can really I see over here when it changed with the weather mm -hmm. and it's something different like for example in the United States. I'm gonna put United States as an example because that's the other place that I have lived and then over there like when you change from summer to winter to autumn you can see different things and even the weather changes when it's cold a little bit like fresh or a little bit very hot but that is not something that you here can see see it that way right so basically saying the changes of seasons like especially like in Alabama when we we lived in Huntsville and some of those even around Georgia and you know that part of the south you can see the change in seasons you know when it's summer because it's hot the trees are all green and then you know when it's fall because the leaves turn orange and they start to you know die and then you know it's winter because the trees are bare Mm -hmm. Then you know it's spring because everything is bright and colorful and it's growing back. Over here, you don't see any of that. And the reason why we, we say this a bonus is because there are places in the U.S. that don't receive it, like it down in Florida. They may see a change in like weather because sometimes it can get kind of cold in South mm -hmm. Florida. It can get kind of cold, but I didn't notice any season changes in terms of autumn and and. and in spring and winter when I was down, when we were down I think there. sometimes it's the kind of trees that, that they have, like in certain part in the country areas. you have those like red and yellow that you can see how they change the color. Mm -hmm. But if you like Florida, since you mentioned Florida is very similar to here, like palm tree, they don't, they don't change. change right. So that is not something that you can notice not on the trees like that. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, another reason why it says bum, because it's places in the U.S. that's like, like I don't, you know, I've been to Phoenix. Phoenix is all red, red dirt, cactuses. There's no season changes, you know, in terms of like, first of all, uh, Phoenix doesn't even have trees, <laughs> you know, they have cactuses and things like that. So, and even I think Nevada is the same way and maybe even California when it comes to like different seasons. Mm -hmm. I think the weather may change, but the just the total change in like the vegetation and things like that uh, doesn't change. So that is some of the things that we have as a all that we have thought about it as a cultural shocking i know that some of you have some of the things that is uh, shocking for you because sometimes things is depending on the person sometimes for some people it's not that shocking or you know, they've seen it before and somewhere else it is normal for other people are shocking i'm sure right. there is some more things over here that are shocking for some people if you have some of those you can leave it on the comment down below here but but for right now this is what we have so we are gonna see you in our next video Peace. Bye.